This is Green Tech Media's Five Questions, the 2014 Solar Summit Edition. I'm Stephen Lacey, Senior Editor with Green Tech Media, and in this video conference series, we're sitting down with company executives in the solar industry to hear about what's happening in their area of the market. I'm joined now by Paul Nahi, who is the CEO of Enphase, one of the largest uh, microinverter producers. Paul, nice to see you. How are you? Thank you very much. Doing great. Uh, so let's talk a little bit about what you see happening in the solar market in 2014. What are some of the key trends you see playing out? Well, I think it's important to note when we look at the solar market in the U.S., worldwide, but the U.S. in particular, we have to recognize that we are still in the bottom of the first inning. Uh, the solar market has yet to really take off. You know, we did maybe 100,000 solar residential roofs in 2013. We'll do probably 150 to 200,000 in 2014. These numbers are impressive in their growth, but they're still very, very small. What we're headed for is millions of solar roofs. What we're headed for is a period of time where solar becomes a very significant part of the energy mix. And we're talking 10, 20, perhaps even 30% of the total energy mix. That's going to require a very different infrastructure. It's going to require a very different way of looking at solar. But, uh, but 2014 is a big step in that direction. So as we look at that growth, Everyone's talking about what's happening in balance of systems. How do you drop the cost of equipment? Within the microinverter space, what are the key areas of innovation that are going to allow you to continue dropping costs and increase performance? Well, one of the great things about the inverter space today is that it's still very young. There's way more innovation in front of us than there is behind us. So our ability to reduce costs through semiconductor integration, through increasing power, through scale, uh, all of that is in front of us. So as you try to drop costs and therefore price of systems, is there a trade-off for quality? Oh, then there doesn't have to be. If it's done right, in fact, the two are very well aligned. I'll give you an example. Uh, Enphase Energy happens to be one of the only companies that uh, has their own semiconductor engineering team and does their own chips. But what does that mean? Well, by integrating more components onto a single semiconductor device or a couple of semiconductor devices, we reduce the total component count on the microinverter itself, which, is, uh, which affects reliability. We reduce the overall size, uh, which reduces the cost, and by reducing the number of components, we also reduce the cost. So reduction in cost and an increase in reliability do not have to be contradictory. If it's well thought out, they can be done hand in hand. You talked about the inverter being really important for the utility. It's this touch point for the utility to understand what's happening on the system. Um, how do you see that evolving going forward past 2014? I mean, the inverter is really this core piece of how the utility understands what's happening on the system. That's exactly right. I think as we move forward, we're going to see a much tighter integration between the utilities and the distributed generating solar devices. And the only way that can really happen is by, number one, incorporating the advanced grid functions in the inverter itself. It starts with that. But that alone doesn't solve the problem you really have to incorporate a networking element to this. There has to be a way for that solar system to dynamically communicate with the utility, with, in our case, with Enphase, and for us to uh, communicate with both the utility and the inverter itself, so that if there are particular functions or features that need to be turned on or off or modified in real time, we can do that. Mm. And then in terms of the expansions of solar, what does that mean for operations and maintenance of systems? So that's a great question. I think there isn't enough attention being applied to operations and maintenance. When you have hundreds of thousands of solar roofs, uh, there are multiple ways to solve that problem, and, and maybe not the most efficient, but you really don't need to worry about uh, efficiency when you're at those numbers. But as we move into millions of solar roofs, and we're certainly heading in that direction, we're certainly going to get there, now O&M looks very, very different. The way to address O&M needs to be much more automated. Fascinating space. I mean, the inverter is this intelligent node on the grid and still a lot of evolution to come. Paul Nahi, the CEO of Enphase, thanks very much for being here. Good conversation. Thank you. Enjoyed it.